<laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome to another live episode of The Grid. My name is Scott Kelby. I am joined by my co-host and beautiful, beautiful man, Mr. R.C. Concepcion. What's going on, everybody? How are you guys doing today? Long day. Long Yesterday, we day. had a long day. And today, we're going to have a shorter day because we have a very special guest who does not require four hours like we required yesterday. We are very excited to have Tamara Lackey here with us today. Tamara, good to see very you. Very excited to be here. We got all kinds of stuff to discuss with Tamara. She is a, a multifaceted, she's got, she's like an onion. When you peel away one layer, there's another layer that we, makes you cry. We, that's all true. <laughs> it's all, it's all true. true. We, no, true. but in a good way. Good crying, right? We, we were bad, talking right? about that. We were just earlier, we were doing some stuff, and she was just like, you know, I was like, well, you know, how do you want me to introduce you? And she's like, well, portrait. Editorial, commercial, and I'm doing a lot more commercial than I used to do editorial. I'm like, what don't you do? Jesus. <laughs> so there's just a lot of stuff. And we, we specifically were talking about this from as a user of Milio and you're working on this. So before we do anything, we're going to cover that in a second. Yep. But uh, I did want to be able to mention that Milio is actually running something that's very special. They're going into Milio. If you go to Milio.com slash Kelby1, they're actually taking 150 was it? It was 100 or 150 dollars. Some gigormous amount. We'll take a look at it. So go over to Milio.com. Kelby1. Off. We'll pull it up. In a second. I've ever seen. But it's basically it, it's a, it's quite Ooh, a there bit. There is welcome of it. viewers Look, of the grid. Yay! One hundred and fifty dollars. Milo advance grid. plan for one hundred and fifty dollars. That's a hundred dollars off of it. So we wanted to be able to mention it first because it only goes until April thirtieth. Go like do whatever it is that you're gonna do with do. it. But and you're gonna talk to us about that in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. I just wanted to make sure that we had that conversation and we did it and we got it out there to get the message out. It's a special deal. <laughs> so just for our folks, we want to tell you about special deals. Now uh, that said, one of the other things that we, we were talking about was dude, you're like the packed Lightroom. full. You go. I'm like Lightroom. So we're gonna talk about that. The Lightroom, the Resource Center. We did that. Lightroom Resource Center. Right. No, let's get to the heart of what we're okay, we okay, to talk okay, okay. about. Okay. All right. All right. Because I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. This is. We have to get to the heart of stuff. Go ahead. So today is the day after the Lightroom CC launch. Okay. And there's quite a bit of buzz about the conf about confusion about something. So we wanted to at the very start tackle that confusion, yes. clear the confusion, and then we will turn our chairs towards Tamara. All right, so uh, can we, oh, we, don't, we can't see my screen because I'm not connected to video control room two, which I will do now. That makes it sound like we have a bunch of video control rooms. Like there's 12, are you on 12 or 13, RC? I'm on 13. Okay, I'm on two. That's All right, that. so someone posted this this morning on, Twitter. I'll give you their name in a moment. I just have to go look it up. And what they're pointing out is something that they're very really concerned about. Number one is Lightroom CC is the, is the main product. The main product is Lightroom CC. But Adobe also made a, a version available to buy called Lightroom 6. Right. And right now, they have the same features. Right. But take a look at this. And, and he went in there with his own red pen and underlined this thing that says Lightroom 6 for desktop only, mobile capabilities, and feature updates are not included in this version. And so people on the web this morning were kind of freaking out. Well, well, what does that mean? If I buy it then I, and, and I get a new camera, I won't be able to use Lightroom anymore? Well, will they not do bug fixes? Right. Okay, so we wanted to clarify that to, for people who are freaking out today. Right. Number one is I want you to look what it says. Feature updates. It doesn't say bug fixes not available. It doesn't say camera updates not available. So let's just look at Lightroom 5 and what they did with Lightroom 5. Right. When Lightroom 5 came out, in the middle of Lightroom 5, they added new features to Lightroom CC only. Here you go. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got okay. it. Okay. All right. So what I did here is I'm in the, I'm in the Adobe Lightroom Switch page. Switch to RC. He's on uh, control, control Room 4. 13. 9. So I'm going to use, 17. what are you using? One? Seriously now? I'm on two. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to one. Go to three. <laughs> go to three. It's the third wall. <laughs> so inside of here. So... Uh, I, I'm at the Adobe Lightroom CC page. Now, the only difference here is that I'm not signed into the Creative Cloud. Why yeah. would you do that? It's crazy, but okay, go ahead. did it. Scroll down, Lightroom 6. All right, there it is. On Adobe site, mobile capabilities not included. Now, it looks like they removed the words and features update. They removed the words and features update. Right. Bye now. Interesting. It was there this morning. Well, maybe we're looking in a different place too, because there's like 50 places to buy stuff. Right. So this is so as of right now, this is on the Adobe website. It's it's it looks like right now that seems like that, that okay. seems like what it well, says. Right so now. what does that mean though? Because we also talked about this in our live broadcast yesterday. What does that mean? Capability. So in Lightroom Five, when it, when uh, they 
if you buy the product, you're only going to get camera updates and bug fixes. Mm -hmm. If a new camera comes out and they are able to support it, right, they'll do a bug fix. Mm -hmm. I mean, they'll do an update. So, uh, and they do that regularly. Right. But here's something interesting to know. I don't know if you knew this. Did you know that like once they come out with a new version, like once they came out with Lightroom 5, they don't go back to Lightroom 4 and do any more updates. Mm -mm. Like that's it for light. Like even if it's a bug fix or a camera, or a, I think camera may be a bug fix, but cameras, they don't go back to it. Like that's old software they don't even make anymore. Right. Okay. So anyway, so if you buy Lightroom 6, that means you buy it, you spent your money, you put down cash, right? You took Tamara's credit card, which I recommend using. That's what I would it's use. It's coming up on the screen. It, the number <laughs> will be coming up and make sure you write down the four digit code. Anyway, so <laughs> you take her credit card and you buy it. What it's saying is, basically, you will get camera updates. So if you were to buy a new camera that hasn't been released yet or whatever, you know, and you probably know secret cameras, right? Oh yeah, I know all about this. The secret cameras, <laughs> the secret cameras that are coming out. Uh, if you get a secret camera, they'll eventually provide, you know, an update for it. Right. And if there's a bug fix, but that's the end of the story. Go back to Lightroom 5. When Lightroom 5 came out, they introduced Lightroom 5. Later on, they introduced Lightroom for your mobile devices. So there's Lightroom on your phone, there's Lightroom on your tablet. There's Lightroom on your Android phone. There's Lightroom now on your Android tablet. That came out, and they added that new feature to Lightroom. Mm -hmm. You don't get that, all right? So you don't get, if they add anything new, let's say that Adobe six months from now says, I'm gonna add some new features. If you buy it, you don't get it. Now, here's here's something that I think is interesting. And, and again, this is kind of one of those things that's it's just coming out. It, so we're, we're trying to do this and we're trying to get as much information as we can for you. But there is a section here where you talk about, you know, comparing versions, mm -hmm. right? So you went here, see what's new, compare versions. I went into the compare versions section and uh, let's see, compare Lightroom versus Lightroom Mobile. So this is Lightroom CC, this is Lightroom 6, this is Lightroom 5. Yeah. And they talk about all of the different features that you have. And in here it says, always stay up to date with the latest photography innovations from Adobe. You get it with, with the creative with a plan. You don't get it with six. Right. Which, you know, of course we would expect Adobe to help with bug fixes and support and things like that. Like, right. They're, they're going to be, a, it's going to be a good software company. They're going to go out and they're going to be able to fix this kind of stuff. Before. Right. I guess the part that I don't understand is why would, like, are people, like, upset over that? Like, that, that yeah, they're not going to get new updates? Yes, and, because people that bought, we heard it all the time, people that bought Lightroom 5 and actually bought it. They right. didn't subscribe, they bought it. They were complaining. They would come back to us and go, well, it's not fair. Adobe screwed me. I, I bought Lightroom 5. I deserve all these. I deserve the mobile stuff. But, and Adobe said, no, no, no. <laughs> we said from the beginning, if you get the other one, we can add features to it. But it's If like, you buy, yeah. we can't. I have, a, I have a 2004 Honda Civic. And just mm -hmm. over the weekend, I went and I took a look at Honda Civics at the Honda lot. Mm -hmm. You know what they have? Backup mm -hmm. cams, side cams, Bluetooth phones. I don't sit at the end of the Honda dealership <laughs> and go, screw you, Honda. You should have put this you Bluetooth put this in, in my, my 1994. It, I don't get it. Like, like, you don't get it, do you? It's just like, why don't would it. you do that? You don't that? get it. You don't get, get it. it. You don't get it. <laughs> it. That's what you're supposed to do. All right. I'm going to ask anyway. RC a series of questions. But can I tell you something before Is we it? do? You know what would really make this just more beautiful, more fabulous, more stunning? I have a guess. Yep. <laughs> Let's check in. There he is. Boom. Uh, Boom. Fredo. There is the beard. the beard. All right. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, Brad's been kind of struggling with some kind of, I don't know, some kind of an aerial like thing all week. stuff. <laughs> it's yeah, it's some like, sort of what? Some, he's got sinus some uh, sinus stuff. thing, right? Oh, oh that's what it yeah, is. That's what I said, right? Sinus? So he's had some sinus things. So how you feel? Are you feeling better? Because we got a big day tomorrow. Mononucleosis. I'll, I'll be all right. Oh great. He's not his chipper self. <laughs> no, he's not. You're no. not yourself. So tomorrow we have a big shoot. We're Ooh. going on location about two and some hours here to a yep. big cool mm -hmm. mansion, and we have this, all this big fashion shoot. And Calibra's doing all the art direction, and all Brad and I have yeah. to do is light it and shoot it. Mm -hmm. And so we we have uh, L Lindsay Adler is. Uh, her her company, Dream Shoot Rentals, is providing all the outfits oh, wow, and stuff. Cool. Oh, dude, we got we got a thing tomorrow. It's Pups gonna be. Up. Let me put it this way: we're doing something. We're taking a freaking smoke machine. Oh my god! I Come just, on, boom! I, I know. I just saw this. <laughs> Stephanie and Rachel said, "Brad, oh my god, I think I just ovulated." Click on Brad. Click on. Go back to Brad. 
Why? Why? This is why? why? I tell you why. Can I tell you why? Necessary. Let me tell you why. This is why. Because for reasons that none of us can understand, you're lit so beautifully over there. Me and RC, even Tamara, we all look like nothing. But you, it's look true. at the light on him. It's true. Speaking of Tamara, he glows. Why don't we give her some attention? She's our guest. No, but you're the one yeah. who's glowing. Yeah, dude, you're look glowing on you. Dude, there's something that's an aura. He is the blush, the he's warmth. He's stunning. He's resplendent. I hate yeah. that. Look at that. Look, <laughs> look at his hair yeah. when he turns. Turn it's your amazing. head to the side. Watch his hair. Look at it. All right. You're like All an right. internet sensation. <laughs> Where's he, he is. going? He's, he's going. This is when Brad goes to his office and softly weeps. <laughs> and then he comes back and he yells at us. Anyway, he's back. Okay. There he goes, anyway. overshadowing us there again. He's, so he's back. Uh, he's back. So, uh, anyway, good to hear, have you, Brad. Are you excited for tomorrow? Yes. If you guys keep at it, she's going to have to have the bleep button ready. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, don't say bad words. But anyway, Brad, you need to get some good sleep tonight. You're going to be, like, on tomorrow. I know. We have a second assistant, though, right? Yes. He so, just tried calling me. I'm like, you, we're, we're live. Good timing. Yeah, don't, don't call that. All right. Don't do that. Do we have a third assistant? No. You're going to wish we did. Okay. Probably. Hey, maybe somebody will come and, and hang with us tomorrow. Sure. It's, we're shooting in the middle of freaking nowhere, though, aren't we? We are. It's yeah, actually no, not that bad. It's okay. Is it okay? It's okay. All right, RC it's shot right. there, and you did a really it's good okay. job. So I, I saw it. I saw RC shots, and I go, I have to shoot there. Yeah, so it's a good place. We're, we're, we're glomming out of his thing. Okay, back to. But I'm going to ask R RC a series of probing questions. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Things just got real. <laughs> I'm not Tamara's that. Like, this is, Tamara's like, I'm glad what I'm on show that am side. I on? Oh, hold on. Back to Brad. Actual probe. Oh. I'm glad we didn't switch to Brad. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. Look, he's congratulating okay. himself. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, this is everybody. Don't listen. I'm talking basically to our director now, Meredith. So Meredith is our director. She's actually in the control room. She's awesome. She's a really great director. She does all kinds of things. We call her the queen of the control room, right? That's right. She's awesome. So, so Meredith, this is for you. Can I please have a button up here that that switches the camera to Brad? So when I see him doing something weird, I can just hit it. Because here's the thing: is you're very nice to Brad, you're respectful. But if Brad's another like scratching his underarm, I want to go bam, and you see Brad. You know how many times we catch Brad just eating a banana? And I'm just like, yeah, just I'm not, switch. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We will look over there in the middle of nowhere, and I'm not joking. Brad will be dancing. He'll be doing the robot, just all kinds of weird stuff. And by the time you switch to him, he's like. Like that. <laughs> and there's so much going on over there. You have no idea. You know what would be nice? Meredith, maybe we could do a camera in like an inset, like a picture in picture. And you just stay on Brad the whole time. Because I tell you what, he does stuff that would just make you roll. I would he was be just offset applying the beard the lotion just he before was. we started. He had the beard, he, he had lotion, the beard on. lotion on. He had all this lotion. He had the little comb. The little comb. Yeah. Yeah, we missed right? that. Yeah, you missed all if you've seen oh, it. Yeah. It was hot. It's him and his neck. <laughs> it was it was hot. It was hot. Okay, that's that's the quote of the day. It was hot. Quote of the day from Tamara Lackey. Put this on Twitter. <laughs> you should see Brad put on his beard lotion. It was hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. All right, back to our probing questions. <sighs> okay, sorry. This is a stupid episode. Here we go. We better get to Tamara quicker. This is not gonna be the left of this episode. <clears throat> Here we go. So RC. Sure. A couple of questions. If you were to buy Lightroom 6, do you get new features when they're released? No. Do you get to use Lightroom mobile on your mobile device? No. Okay. It, um, it, all right. No. No. Okay, so let me ask you a different question. If you buy Lightroom CC and Adobe adds new features to Lightroom, will you get them? No. It, Lightroom it, CC. It, oh, Lightroom CC, yes. Okay. okay, and, and <laughs> like, RC, do you, if you get Lightroom CC, do you get to use the mobile Lightroom on your phone? Yes. On, okay, let's just do it. On your iPhone? Yes. Uh, iPad? Yes. Android phone? Yep. Trick question, Android tablet? You can do that too. That's right, yesterday they introduced that. Now, here's the thing. So the upgrade, 80 bucks? 80 right? bucks. Around 80 bucks to upgrade from Lightroom 5 to Lightroom 6 and own it. B&H, and this, this ends today by the way, B and H Photo has a deal today, only today. That's it. Today oh, yeah. ends tonight. Photoshop and Lightroom CC. So the latest version of Photoshop, the latest version of Lightroom CC. See, ninety nine bucks. Yep. We we thought it was ninety nine ninety nine, but it's just ninety nine bucks. Yep. Ninety nine bucks for a twelve month subscription. They're pretty good. The latest version of Lightroom, Lightroom CC yep. and Photoshop. I've never ever seen a lower price. Not from Adobe. Not from anybody ever. Here's where you're going to go. Go to 
Where do they go? KEL.BY. KEL.BY. Uh, gonna pull it up, no, I think. No, well, actually, you know what? The best way for you to pull it up is to go to our uh, resource center. So if you go yeah, to KLB1.com. Yeah, but it's to get to our, our resource center. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. There Grab it is. KLB1.com. All right. KLB1. So KLB1. Now, now, if you go there, there's a thing called special offer for b &H. But you know what? Our, to get to our resource center is like a long URL. No, 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 no. I'll get you a URL in one second. Give me one All right. Second. RC's going to get you a really quick and easy URL. The easy and by the way, it's not really pronounced URL. It's Earl. It's Earl. <laughs> and, it's, and it's spelled, actually, E-A-R-L. What? All right. <laughs> Hold up a second. All right. Now, in the meantime, there were a couple of different things that people were running into. Uh, Wait, there's one right there. What? Make sure. Oh, make sure. Kel dot by. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here's where you go. This is the, the address. It's kel dot by. So uh, our name. K kel kel dot by slash bh lightroom cc. How easy is that? And and we're gonna. I'm gonna just write it on screen here. I have a, I have a program called Photoshop. Now look here. Just <laughs> oh, if you want me. this. I've got one of those too. Do you want the launch center? Here. Here's yeah. the launch center. Kel dot by forward slash K1 secret. It's actually not that bad, Kelby one secret. That's not too bad. So just keep that. The reason that I tell you about that is because we did all of this information and if I click on this, right, it's gonna bring you to the webcast, it's gonna bring you to the resource center. You can get into everything from here. You can get to the deal, you can see all of the webcasts, you can see the 21 videos that we did for all of this stuff, right. as well as get to the special offer, which is right here, a bunch of other stuff as well. Right, and so, so and oh, there's the link if you just if you feel like, hey, you know what, I just wanna go and buy it right now and do that. forget RC's dumb link, I just want this, I need it bad, no, I'm just kidding. All right, anyway, so we have a bunch of stuff for you to learn. If you didn't catch any of our webcasts yesterday, go to our learning center, which RC just gave you the link. There are 20 videos there. There's all kinds of Q and A's, there's answers, there's all kinds of good stuff there. And anyway, I hope we made it clear what the difference was and cleared up that whole thing from this morning of people going, wait a minute, does this mean I don't get any new features? Yes, it means you don't get any new features. Yes, we're, you we're, do get bug fixes, they're you telling do get you camera updates. They're telling you ahead of time. Use this opportunity to be able to go, look, we are telling you ahead of time. No new features going forward. But last, last two questions for RC. Yes, sir. RC. Yes. If you buy it and Adobe releases a new camera update, do you get it? No, I, I don't. No, you I buy it. Uh, camera oh, update. You, if you bought well, the subscription? Well, you're not helping this at all. No, no, if you bought the subscription? No, I said if you buy it. Oh, if you buy it, do you get a camera update? No. Yes, you, you do. do. Oh, oh my God, update? this is... This is confusing. This is I'm confused. Bad. The subscription. No, I think Tamara minute. knows this better. Let's no. just ask you. Let me ask you. New a camera. camera. The opposite of what he said. <laughs> Tamara. Thank you. If you buy it. Yes. And Adobe releases an update. You like you bought a new a Nikon camera. Right. right. You're a Nikon ambassador. Yes. All right. So you get a new Nikon camera. Of course, you won't have to pay for it. It'll just come one day. Oh, look. So, but you, you want to be able to use it. Correct. I'd like to use my cameras. I think you should. Yes. I think it's an important part of a photography board. Yes. And Adobe releases a camera update for your new camera. Yes. And you bought it. Do you get the update? Of course. All right, number two. <laughs> of course you do. If there's a bug fix and now you bought it. Now that I know it. what he said was wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? If there's a bug fix, do you get it? Yes. There we go. Thanks, RC. You're welcome. Not helping at all. Do you know why RC got those answers wrong? Can I tell you? Two reasons. One. Number one, he's using medical marijuana. Yes, I know. Number that. two, is he's looking at his computer and looking at comments and all kinds of crazy stuff. And Brad. And Brad, which is so. Well, but if you want to find out the difference between oh, the yeah, two, I you can saw see. that. Yeah, but you wanted the camera. Yeah. Look, yeah. so there's a camera between us and Brad, but I kid you not, the way the camera's built, there is a square hole and his face is in that hole. Like right where I'm at. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see it. His face is perfectly in that hole. Now, it's amazing. This is what I would tell you to do. Go to <laughs> adobe.com inside of here. Make yes. sure that you are not signed in. Go into this one section here. Go into the Lightroom area inside of the Lightroom area so that you have no confusions about what you will get and what you will not get, click right here compare where it says compare versions. versions. Once you see that, you will see very plainly what you will get and what you will not get. Yeah, there you go. It'll also show you why you should get this thing. And RC, I think you need to go there more often. I apparently, think I will go there. Because our pointed oh, questions were 50% right. Wow. You we're, just burned him. That was a super burn. That was hashtag shots fired. All right. Let me just check something. Stop. What are you doing? Quick. Yes, Mike, it's working. I'm just checking. Okay. Okay. Stop looking at my stuff. All right. 
There's another tweeter quote. RC, stop looking at my stuff. I put that quote of the day. When we come back, we are thankfully going to switch and talk to Tamara. Because Tamara's got all kinds of stuff going on. And we're going to find out exactly what it is. Probing questions. Oh, my God. And there will be more questions about Lightroom upgrades. <laughs> when we get back, stick around. We're live on the grid with RC in the know. I have an extraordinary number of images of my children. I have them everywhere. Some are on Facebook and some are on Instagram. Some are literally stuck in a hard drive in a computer in my garage. If I lost those images, it would hurt. With Miley, I have everything archived and saved and having everything together in one place is kind of a dream. Milio is a great tool to help me better manage my most important method of communication, photography. There's a really big Lightroom conference coming to Las Vegas, and if you're into Lightroom, you've got to be there. During this three-day training event, you'll have unlimited access to the world's top instructors in Lightroom. You'll learn from trainers like Scott Kelby, the world's number one best-selling book author on Lightroom, plus Adobe's expert team of instructors like Terry White, Julianne Cost, Brian Hughes, as well as other top instructors in Lightroom training. They'll teach you step-by-step -step how to take control of your digital photography workflow. If you want to take your Lightroom skills to the next level, you've got to be there. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Grid. RC here with Scott Kelby and Tamara Lackey. Now, uh, so we we're, are we sufficiently off the Lightroom thing? Good Lord, yes, we're off Great the Lightroom job. thing. All done. So, but you're up and running, so that's good on that side. Now, we wanted to spend some time also talking to Tamara Lackey. Mm -hmm. right? Tamara yes. is a portrait, a commercial editorial photographer, and a user of Miley. And we're talking about. Why do you keep calling me a user? You're not because a user. I, <laughs> you're She's an brand's a user. user. All right, no, a customer but, but, but of Milio. She's an icon ambassador. She she's icon a ambassador. speaker. She mm -hmm. is a Kelby training instructor. Mm -hmm. There are many facets to Tamara Lackey. We're going to explore them all. Not all. We're going to explore some. <laughs> a couple. All right. Not not all. Not this all. is why does this like episode have such a naughty bent to it? I didn't do it. I wasn't going naughty on that one. No, okay. But Brad started with his old probe thing. Anyway, so okay. See, so you want to show that face? Oh, she got it. She got his face. What? <laughs> Says the venereal disease guy? I did not say venereal disease. <laughs> no, I, no. I said in sinus infection. That's right. Roll that tape back. Venere I thought he said aerial. Did you say venereal? No, that's what he, he said. Aerial. 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 I said an disease. aerial. He heard venereal. Swine. Because that's what he usually venereal? says. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, Brad. Slippery slope. God, Brad, no wonder he was blushing. Yeah, so it was, it, no, he has an, uh, he has an, um, it's an aerial thing. It's a uh, Go back to Tamara. Just go. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go, like, go down here and go stop. back to my miracle marijuana. <laughs> oh, no, he heard you say that. Yeah. You can see why. Yeah. The miracle, the medical marijuana doesn't. No, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Hey, stop messing with that camera. What are you doing? <laughs> I think okay, he sorry. Off. <laughs> he did. He said, "Like you guys are done." Okay, so uh, now you have a. What do you want to talk about first? Because you got so many things going on, I'm not even sure where to start. I, I know that you've been you've been working with Milio. You're like one of the uh, the. Uh, yeah, I think I just discovered around the same time you did. When did you discover Milio? I bet it, it's about a year ago. I have oh, to think. Oh, you beat me. Okay. I have to. But it, it, well, I think it was about a year ago. Yeah. And so, and I know that you've, you've, and we've all done, so we're all, we're all Milo users, and we've all given a lot of feedback to them. So yeah, you, yeah, me too. So, yeah, you told them, and, right, and you're like, hey, do this, do that. They're pretty good, though. It's kind of cool. It's like you yeah, get to they, shape a product. Yeah, it's been fun because yeah. they, they actually are very responsive and they listen. Um, so, so kind of tell I, I, me. Yeah. Okay, and then, then that's what I was going to say, was gonna, because while we're talking about that, like, yeah. how did you get connected, though? That, I was at this the the event was... called Photoshop World okay. that I was teaching mm. at. You I've may heard have heard of, of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, I met, uh, and I was talking to Dave, who was telling me, um, have you checked out Milio and all that sort of stuff? Now, when you say Dave, do you mean Dave Moser? Moser, or like yeah. David yeah, yeah. I guess Baskin there's more than one Dave okay. in the there's world, right? There's many Daves. There's two Daves. Hello to all Daves. And you guys don't even call him Dave. You just say Moser. Yes. Yeah, we just call him Moser. The general. So, Moser, the general. And um, he said, have you checked this out yet? And I go, no. And then literally the following day I was uh, teaching, and as soon as I was done with my program, Kevin Gilbert came up and said... Oh, yeah, um, Kevin's awesome. Yep. And he I goes, I, I think the things you're doing, you want to check this out. Okay. And then yeah. so I got a, a look at it, and the demo, I was just... It really hit all my pain points, like right away. And I said, sold, 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 sold. 
And um, and then when the first official release came out, they stripped like how many features? They, they, they took like, I don't know, 100 features out or something just to be able to launch it because it was so robust. Well, well yeah, it, it, it so is a Swiss Army it. knife for sure. Yeah. So, um, and then they're, and as they're bringing them in and upgrading with every upgrade since then. So having been with it for what, nine months, you've been a year, um, it's changed a lot and it, it just keeps getting better and better and better. So, um, for me, it's been a, a major, uh, a major solution to a problem that was worse than I knew. Right. And, but, but, and, and that's the thing. That I, I think, think we should tell people what Milo is for those of you who are watching, don't know what it is. Right. Cause, like, Cause if they're going, all right, they all like this. Program. That sounds what awesome. is Milo? Okay. Well, it, it's, it's actually kind of tough to describe because it does so many things, but I'm going to show you what, what, what my, what it does for me. Your screen looks very different than my screen. We use Milo differently. Yeah, we do. I use the dark interface anyway. <laughs> Not just that. No, I was just I was doing an install of something. Okay. I was, RC was helping me with an install. It's, it's, it's unrelated to this. Long story. Long Not story. Uh, unrelated. Not important. Go to Brad. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> more Brad. <laughs> okay, Meredith switched to you. That was not us. For no reason. I said. Okay. All right, so let's just back up real quick. Okay. So I, I wrote a blog post about how I use I use Mylio because yep. I, I everybody uses it differently, which yeah, is kind of what's kind of nice. What's so cool about it. So what I do is is I want I have on my phone, which I happen to have right here, on my phone, on my iPad, on my laptop, on my iMac at home, mm -hmm. I have twenty three thousand of my finals. So yep. I originally in Mylio tried to put every photo I have in I there, which too. it'll do. It'll, it'll have a, I've seen Mario running with over a million photos, right? <sighs> so I, that was my original thing. And then yep. I decided, you know, I really just want the images that I care about. So these are all basically JPEGs. Yep. So they're, they're the finished files, they're sharpened, they're done. But I have for the first time in my life, every single final photo that I've taken, not just my final photos, but my family photos, the kids, my, me growing up, I've got everything in here. I have all the photos from that I've taken with my phone. I've got scans. I've got everything from all these different disparate places are now in one place. This is the first time I've been able to do that. Right. So that's what Mylio is. One of the hearts of it is for me. Is right. for me because I mean, technically, there's other ways that you could maybe get. I don't know if you'd not not in manage it the way that it does because it's very very smart about the way it moves images and stores images and it's it's the technology behind it is really amazing that's brilliant the second part of it is what Milo I think is is very attractive to a lot of people and what kind of attracted me to it maybe you as well is the protection of your images i tell you what there are so many photographers who don't have a good backup Number one, if they have a backup, it's a partial backup. Mm -hmm. They have some of their images, and some are on one drive, and some are on another. Some are on their phone, some are on their iPad. And then I, I could go, I could do an entire show called Heartbreaking Stories of Photographers Who Lost Everything. God, Even that'd be a my own show. wife. You're so depressing. My own wife, her phone died. She spilled water on her. I forget, I forget what the her thing was. Her trusty iPhone? Her trusty iPhone died, and she lost like eight months worth of photos. Aww, and it was me, absolutely heartbreaking like she had, there was she lost pictures of the kids she lost uh, she took a trip to, to Mount Vesuvius she's really into did she uh, not uh, had it backed up or did not but, have it yeah. backed up or kind of thought she had it backed oh, up so that's one of the things if you go into the genius bar with your phone they'll say is it backed up the cloud and you say yes a lot of the times they don't no, I shouldn't say a lot of the times I'll get slammed for that right. but in my case at least twice it wasn't coming back ever right and she it's, may have had a similar experience it's, it's critical things like they had your address book and they yeah. had your thing, yes, but they, yes, yes. They, they didn't yes. have your photos. And they said, wait, wait, it'll come back. I'm like, I've been waiting it a week. It doesn't come it's back. It's not here. Right. So, so anyway, that's the second big part for me. Now, everybody uses Milio different, but the second mm -hmm. big part of it for me is it does track and manage to make sure that your photos, once you get it set up, it, it, it puts it everywhere, it stores it everywhere, and it backs it up everywhere. You know when you launch Milio if you're secure, if you're backed up, if you're stuffed. It literally has a little green light, green light, yellow light, be careful, it's not all there yet. You know, red light, ah! Or no light is basically your hose. It's like a stress and, meter. And it's based on this whole idea of you backing up to multiple places. Yeah. Right, and so. And, uh, you, can, and you can specify how you want that to be. Right, yeah, you can say I want one here, one there, yeah. one in the cloud, whatever. And so it, it's not really a cloud-based thing, but there's a cloud-based option. Yep. So if you want, and I go with a cloud-based option. I, I want that third, you know, and so. All right, so back to our story. Uh, oh, somebody asked the question, how much space does that take up on your phone, Scott? Ah. So this is interesting. That's so the nice part. For, I have 23,000, I can tell you exactly, but it's less than, 
it, even for like a raw photo, because they'll mm -hmm. send a, a preview, yep. is less than one megabyte per, per image. So yeah. I think your iPhone will actually tell you, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so, and, and, and specifically, yeah, you I can choose, can... so one of the, the caveats to this, and, and you're right, there's so much to speak about, but one of the things is right. not only can you have it syncing to all these devices, you can determine what size you want it to go to each device. So I might say, you know what, only put previews on my laptop, but go ahead and put full res, um, on the cloud, pull, put full res in an external device that I have everything just going right. to, but only put previews here, which means that I can have, you, you have your count, I have like 60 something thousand, almost 70 thousand images. You have 70 thousand? Yeah. And, and three uh, times what I have. And this is, and this by the way is just the personal ones. I have a separate one for business. Well, and that's, and I wanted to, yeah. I'm not shooting enough. I want to talk about that in a couple of seconds because I think that that's, that's probably one of the other questions that I think people have. Like we're talking about it now from a very personal standpoint, like your story on this is a very personal story. Right. We're dealing with your pictures, but you have, right. So you have business and you have multiple businesses in Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with something like, and we were talking about this earlier. So just full disclosure, just chit chatting about it. We were like, it's close to 14 terabytes. Of data in my studio, yeah. Between so, myself and my associate photographers. So 14 terabytes of information. And, and, and that's just the client shoots. Yeah. And, and you're running that. Yeah. Well, well, okay. So, yes. Okay. Asterisk. So for the um, for home, for this dialogue, in terms of how much space it takes up on my phone, I can have these all as previews. So I can pull up any image I want and look at it and say, that's gorgeous. For, for my iPhone, it's exactly the image size I want. Right. But if for some reason you say, Tamara, that's a great image. Can you print it for me? I can then click right now, go ahead and pull down from the cloud, make this an original size. And so I can print at full resolution and I can do that on the fly at any time with any of my devices. So right. I don't have to keep a massive amount of data on my phone that's gonna clog it up and take up all my space, right. but I still have the images exactly how I would view them, mm -hmm. optimized for my phone, mm -hmm. um, and I can upgrade the size at any time, individually as a full album, whatever I want. Now, so that's the answer to that question. Same thing on my iPad and same right. thing on my laptop. So I don't take up a ton of space on my laptop because they're previews, but they still get big. You know, they large size, they're beautiful. You can't tell if it's a 34 meg file. Right, yeah, I can see. Like, like I can see full screen on here. I can zoom in. Now this this can't be right. Can this be right? Can what not be right? It says I only used a gig. Um, that can't be right. No, I think that is it could pretty be right. close to right. Yeah, actually, because for twenty three thousand photos. It, depending if you have them are, as thumbnails or previews. These are previews. So yeah, because they're all uh, condensed significantly. Right. They're and they're they're scaled to the size of your device. Right. And so what I found because I still have seventy gig free on here. Yeah, yeah. Plus I've got thousands of photos and so many stupid apps you can't even believe in videos and everything else on here. And you can sort and you and you can basically then um, and you could say you know what I do want all originals on my iPhone. I don't know why you'd want that, but then you're not going to have that t tiny number of space. Right, but I yeah. but all I really need to do. So what do we really need to do? What I really need to do is I really need to be able to show full size on my phone when yep. this is an iPhone six plus, yep. and I want to be able to zoom in. Right, that's pretty much it. I don't I don't really have to do the 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 printing thing. I know it's always an option. I can pull down the high yeah. res, but I'm, I've never pulled down the high res. But you know what? I have every I have every final image. Like if you said, "Hey Scott, do you have the image of Aaron Rodgers from the NFC Championship game?" Right. I know it's there. I absolutely know it's there. Even if I don't have my laptop or anything with me, I can go and pull it, pull it right up. So that's yeah. That's, that's, and the way you pull up. So you mentioned a very specific thing. So right. if you're looking um, here, for instance, on um, is my screen is my screen alive? Your screen is so alive. It's so alive. Um, I can go over here and view, so I can make these albums, but like you said, I might want to do a keyword search, or I'll just say, oh, I remember that date was this time. I remember this is the person. This is where I was when I did that shoot. I mean, you can find it in whatever way you um, tend to do, like you intuitively search, mm -hmm. and that's, at the end of the day, of all the things that Milo offers, what I love is that you can customize it to how you intuitively work so that when you're doing this, it's so much more enjoyable. Right. You know, because it, cause it's not that, do you remember when Evernote came out? Yeah. Evernote or OneNote or all sure. those sort of applications. I've used Evernote, yeah. So, so someone asked me, um, you know, why do I want Mylio if I already can go find these things in different places? You know, I can get to them and I can back things up and all that sort of stuff. And I said, well, it's like saying, you know, why would you want Evernote if you can already keep no notes in a notebook? If you could already keep right. notes, even if I kept them in, a, in my notes file on my Mac and stuff, um, the reason why is it changes the game in terms of 
redundantly backing everything up for you. That's right. no longer a manual effort. I don't have to like make sure I save it and save it and save it. It's all just happening. Um, but it works with how you intuitively use things, you know? So it's not like I wasn't using notes before, but now I have access to them everywhere right. I go. Mm-hmm. And um, some of the other solutions are so inelegant. Yes, like, it's the elegance of can it. Can you put photos in Dropbox and then they're everywhere? Yeah, but it's it doesn't manage the space the way you want it to. And the, the viewing of photos on... That enjoyability the, factor, you can't, you, you, I, not, you can't underestimate that enjoyable. because there's so much work in this job. Yeah. Hey, we're going to get a bunch of questions. So if we can maybe move the jib out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. Now, yesterday, I, I butchered some names like you can't believe. And RC was generally there to decode them. So is this Shedden Darnus? Darnus? Nardus? Uh, Shit. This, this, I would say, would be Shedden Nardis. Shedden Nardis, okay. Or Shedana Ardis. Shedana, Shedana Ardis. So that's what we no. did yesterday, all trying to figure Shedden out those. Shedden Nardis. I and would then, say Shedden Nardis. And then the next one is so easy. All right, so uh, how much phone bandwidth does it use? Um, so here's the thing is you would actually do this on wireless. You would make this move and get everything everywhere yeah. using wireless. So, because you're not going to be like sitting there doing it over like, you know, your data. You wouldn't want this to touch your data plan. You want to do it when you're within a wireless. So you'll actually go to a Starbucks. No, your wireless at home, your wireless at the office, wherever your wireless is. So number one, there should be no bandwidth charges you're moving in. Because by the way, so once these previews are all on my phone, there's, there is no need for the data plan, right? They're on my phone, right? They're actually on here. Yep. So it's not like, it's not like a cloud thing where I'm pulling them from the cloud to see them. They're here. They're ready to live right. on there. So that's why, that's why we're looking at what the size is on my phone because it's actually here. Number two, this, I like your name, W Carry Photo, easy. Yep. Uh, how long did it take you to upload all those images? Uh, all right, so we'll just do that one first. For me, here's what I did. I, I put them, um, I set it to go and right before I went to bed. It, the, the upload speed is insane. It, it goes really it's fast. It's insane. See, and, and that's one I think was the strongest things about Milo is the back end, the way it moves files is pretty amazing. Well, the people who built it, like built gaming platforms like Xbox and this and that. So yeah. it's, it's that. It's that, those, yeah. those people. Smart, those smarties. Those people, the smarties. Super fans. smarts. Uh, so uh, I, I just woke up in the morning and it was all done. So I don't know. It could have taken two, three hours. I don't think it takes that long. No. Um, it depends on how much you're moving, of course. So how does the keyword thing work? Do you create them yourself and specify which is which? So keywords, what's cool about that is you can obviously create whatever you want, but the keywords live with the images. We were, RC and I were talking about how you can open things up and the keywords come into Lightroom. You can add more, then, they'll, then all those added ones go back in. Um, one of the cool things about setting up with Mylio is you can say, bring in all the photos of me on social media. Either I've posted or people have tagged me or all that sort of stuff. All that comes in with everything that was ever written with that photo. So mm-hmm. you have the data of not only who posted it, who's in the photo, where it was shot, and then anything that somebody wrote with it. Like I, I was finding images from 2008 of these really sweet notes people wrote with these photographs that I was like, I don't think I ever oh, saw that on Facebook. Right. And so it's all coming in right there. Lonnie Shaw. Lonnie or S. Hall. It, or it could be, right, well, let me finish. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Or it could be Lonnie S. Hall or Lonnie's wow. Hall or, sorry. Lan Nyashal. Could be Lan Nyashal. Hey, uh, the Shedden one, I got it right. <laughs> or it could be. Shedden artist said, or he got it right? I was like, huh, wow. Wow, there you go, boom. Low. <laughs> could my wife and I, I think it's Lonnie Shull. I no, like Lonnie's I- Hull. Who knows? Could my wife and I share a Milio account? She's always on me that she never knows where you keep any of our pictures. Such a common thing. Yes. Absolutely. Household account. Yeah, household account. Uh, all right. But just, can I go back to that for one sec? Can I go back to the house account thing for one yeah, second? Please. Because for me, like, you guys use Mylio in very, very different ways, right? And I'm, I'm kind Clearly. of... I'm kind of in this <laughs> weird... Uh, in this weird spot with it where I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm working on it. And I'm a big Lightroom guy. I use Google for a lot of different types of things. And I feel like some what, what's happened here on the Mylio side is... It's a great program, like if you get into it, but but it's been, kind of been a little bit confusing. And I think that one, if there's one takeaway, from in my opinion, there's one takeaway for the problem for this is what Lonnie wants to do. 
exactly what Lani wants to do. Like I was saying, I was in du- I was in Dubai and I was talking to my friend Mohammed, and again, I've told that story Here several times. Here he goes dropping the old. And I was in Dubai part. It's the. Are you going to mention you got a 4K monitor? Go ahead. No. So <laughs> let's continue. Sorry. Now, um, when we were when we were having that conversation, my friend Mohammed turned around and said. We have to, uh, I, I have a camera and I'm taking pictures of my kids. My wife has a camera and is taking pictures of my kids. And I have a computer and I have a hard drive and I have the, the point and shoot camera. I'm taking pictures. And I don't know where to put these things. Like, do mm. I put them on my computer? Do I put them on my hard drive? He's where like, do you put them? You know, you're, I put them on Google Photos, but that's me. I was like. But you don't put everything on Google Photos. <laughs> I put Photos, everything. Right? But everything you shoot from everywhere, including mm, the images. All of this or, stuff I do. Where was he having this but conversation, here's, Muhammad? So where was we he? Were, oh, he I think was in Dubai He's with in his Dubai. 5K monitor. He was in Dubai. Now, now, now it's a 6K monitor, yeah. by the way. <laughs> so from that, they were like, well, you're a Lightroom guy. Like, how do you do it? He said, like, could you do it in Lightroom? And I'm like, yeah, well, technically you could. You could sync all of your stuff with Lightroom Mobile, and all of this problem could be solved. And then I'm like. But you guys don't want that kind of solution. Like, you don't want it to be that complex. You don't want to work with it. And I'm like, that's it. There's a program exactly built for what you want. want to do, yeah. Milio. And, and that part right there, I was like, if it could solve that problem for those people, they don't want to get into the technical part of it. They don't want to. You yeah. can, but you don't want to get into the technical of it. That's you don't want to develop. You don't want to do it. It can do all of that stuff. But if it can solve that one thing, if it can solve the thing that you want for Lonnie. Lonnie Scholl? Yeah. When you mentioned the cloud, right? So here's my thing. Have you ever put a ton and ton of high-res images in the cloud and then tried to quickly get them all back? It's been, yeah, it's a bit of, well. Impossible. Well, high-res high res images on the cloud and then how to get them back. I'm, so, so for instance, um, I was. I, I do it. So, I've, had to, I've had to pull down 50 or 100 high-res images. Like, no, but like if you want it all, if you want, you know what, I'm going to pull oh, down tried, that whole catalog. I tried to pull down 100 and it was like 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay, right. so I was at um, uh, St. Louis. Long story short, I my hard drive got fried because I I went into a server that um, had problems. I called Apple because we have problems sometimes with these connections. I was all backed up to Backblaze that was just pulling up my my regular Mac laptop, right. and then I went into Backblaze to start bringing everything down, cleaned it up, wiped it, started bringing everything down. I just looked at the waiting time, <laughs> like you know, till I'm 98, right? And so I so I had to buy the drive and have them send it to me and and I got everything back, yay. But certainly as a current, as a working solution, like to be able to just quickly grab wherever you want and have it, it's that, I don't really see that as an option for somebody who's working with high-res files. Well, for me, what I'm doing is I actually have a hey, solution. Before you go on to your thing, though, ahead, I'm sorry. so Tamara, I'm gonna ask you to restate your answer because with RC, we don't, we don't like to say St. Louis. It's not exotic Saint Louis? enough. No, not just give it another place. Give it another place. All right, so I was in Dubai. Okay. There we go. No. <laughs> right. He likes that. Okay, one. same story, but with Dubai. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, within that, when I was in Dubai, yeah, yeah, I actually have at home a Synology unit. Yes. And then I have Ooh. a network attached really? unit. Really? Yes. And then from there, I can access all of that stuff. And I was able to download it pretty fast. That said, but how much? I don't think that I was probably doing 500 gigs. Okay. Of information, which was quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. So downloading that off of that, I didn't think that was necessarily that you, much of a problem. Right. My problem with all of that stuff is the consistency across the devices. Because right now, for I have Synology drives. I have network attached storage. I have RAID things kind of set up for the pictures. Right, right. I'm a big nerd. There's a list of RC stuff. I have As Synology a, drives I don't too. have a wall of guitars. I also have Synology drives. I have Synology drives. I, have Synology drives, but I, I can access them it. remotely right here on the show. Me too. I'm going to go onto my Synology drive in just a moment. Just yeah. to show so that I have I'm already on that, it. I'm on it right now. I'm going right now. I'm doing I'm connecting I was, I'm to mine right it. now. So I'm in that, I still think that one of the biggest problems that we have is that as an iPhone user, as a person who collects the stuff on the mobile devices, yep. this stuff is still really hard to be able to sync. To and, sync and it with my wife, question, to sync times, it with my kids. You, have you talked to people or had the experience yourself where you download everything from your iPhone and then you clear it, right? Because you want to go take new pictures. Right. And you sit there and freak out about clearing it because even though you backed it up, you're like, I don't know if it's really backed up. You guys mm-hmm. have that experience? Everybody well, I know well, has that I experience. Mean, yeah, there's people Let's that have had that experience. Audience. I mean, how many people have had that experience? But even though you backed it up and it's on a drive, when it comes to actually deleting months and months and months, like you were saying, Cleaver's last eight months from your phone, tell me you feel comfortable doing that. What, when you just all of a sudden is gone? He's going to do a Synology drive. Yes, what? I am. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go to mine. Why are Everybody, we doing this? Because RC's not the only guy with Synology Oh, okay, drive. we're just proving it. But, like, that peace of mind factor mm-hmm. is 
freaking massive. Yeah, and, and that I think that it's very important for people to be able to do that. Yeah, so agreed. Let's get and do this. Let's take a quick break. No, who wants to take a break now before I get in my Synology? No, nope. I'm gonna We're go to mine. Just, go to your Synology. Yes, I will. Why are we? But why are we doing this? I, I have know. no idea. All right, we don't need to know why. I'm going okay. in. You know, you never need to know. All right. All right, so they're, everybody's logging into the Sonali unit. Do we want to wait or we want to come back from a break? Dude, I don't need that long. Okay, you're in? I'm going to go in faster. I'm going to go to my note. <laughs> I'm already there. Let's cut, let's cut to the screens and have them take a look at that. Now, one of the good things about this is that you can actually connect your network attached storage unit to Mylio. Sure you can. And have it automatically sync all of the stuff and have it set to your thing. Have it sent to your phone. Yeah. All of those solutions. Well, my, even right now, my iPhone stuff. photos, all of them are constantly syncing everywhere. Everything I shoot here goes everywhere else as well, not to mention all my drives. So every time I come out and do a shoot now, right. like I just put it into one place, and that one place goes phone, iPad, this, that, and it's just, that's it. I mean, I have photographs of interns and production assistants sitting around with piles and piles of DVDs just backing everything right. up to have that one more right. one more factor. All right, we can go to my machine. I'm going to do a throwback Wednesday shot from my Synology. Am I still logged on? Oh, I dropped. I dropped. Why are we all in Synology? Is that just a coincidence? Yeah, it's because RC was like trying to be like... No, no, I know. Pimp. I know why we're doing it now, but why do we all have... I wasn't right. trying to be so like look, we were all So this is, this, is a picture, <laughs> this is a picture of me from my Synology, right? You can see I'm on my Synology disk station server. And here's a picture of me from the 1980s. Hard to tell this from the 80s, right? Bolo tie. That's you? That's me. Yeah, it's me. I'm like a boss. Uh, I'm. Oh my, my God. God. <laughs> All right. Wait, so, can we zoom in? Can we zoom on this? No, don't zoom on We it. have to. We have to go to the face. Go yeah. in. I was younger then. Why is this not this. zooming? I don't know. You know what's interesting? I was younger then. I know this is hard to believe. That's amazing. Uh, that's as much as it's going to be. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Come that on. is you. Tell me, was I like wait, 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 so wait. ready to be in Duran Duran? Wait, slow. It's not even Bring funny. Bring it down. <gasps> yeah. Do you have shots like when you're up there shirtless, too? No, do, no, you? I do not. No. I have a like, shot. Like, uh, I like Duran Duran. No, I didn't do that. that Why was, is this going crazy? That was Simon Le Bon. Oh, no, no. That was yeah. John Taylor. And look, see this drummer? See that? This is the same drummer I play with today. He looks older, but not as old as me. We all look older. Oh, God, it's unnecessary Zoom. All right, so that was just for us to show that RC's not the only guy that's got stuff. I'm in my Synology drive right there now. There you go, boom, Synology See? drive. I'm on here I, for no reason other than the show I have it. Okay, you can take me off mine. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna take a break. Boom, mm -hmm. RC, with your list of stuff you have at home and fancy places you've been. Right? He's not the only one. Yeah, I've been we to go, St. We Louis. Go places. I've been to St. Louis. We go places. The arch there. Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here. I want to tell you about all of the awesome Lightroom CC resources that we have here at Kelby One to help you get up to speed on Lightroom fast. First, we just released 15 brand new full-length online classes at Kelby One covering all the different aspects of Lightroom CC. And that's just the first way we have a whole bunch more coming. Number two, we are launching Lightroom Magazine. It's a print magazine and it's included inside of Photoshop User Magazine. So if you're a Kelby One subscriber, you get it 10 times a year and it's packed full of all kinds of Lightroom goodness. Number three, Every Friday, we release the Lightroom Show. We've got our own Lightroom Show dedicated to teaching you. Lightroom, it's short, it's sweet, but it's packed full of stuff. We also have the Photoshop World Lightroom Track. If you're going to the Photoshop World Conference and Expo in Las Vegas this August, we have an entire Lightroom Track that runs every single day. In fact, you can go to Photoshop World and take nothing but Lightroom classes the entire conference. We've got you covered from some of the world's best Lightroom instructors. Uh, next is we just released my Lightroom CC book for digital photographers. Of course, it also works if you have Lightroom 6. It's the world's best selling book on Lightroom and it's available right now wherever cool Lightroom books are sold. Of course, we have the famous Lightroom Killer Tips blog every single day. Me, RC, and our friends teach you Lightroom absolutely free. Go to lightroomkillertips.com. If you like to learn Lightroom live and in person, we are launching a brand new version of our Lightroom tour. It's called the Lightroom CC Power Tour, and it's taught by our own RC Concepcion, and it's coming to cities all over the country, teaching you the latest Lightroom tips and techniques. 
And lastly, we just released a Lightroom CC Learning Center that has all kinds of videos to get you up on what all the new features are. And then when you're ready to dig in deeper, of course, we have all this stuff. Nobody has more Lightroom training for you than we do because we love Lightroom, we live in Lightroom, and we want to help you make the most of it. Hey, we are back. Scott here with, with RC. What's going on, everybody? Now, we were having a conversation about Milio, right? And we we're talking about the, synchroniz the synchronizing of folders yep. and working with most of that kind of stuff. So we've talked about, did we, did we talk specifically about how you work with on a corporate level with it? Okay, so right, we, we, we that's where we were. Put, that's where we started with that. I put an asterisk okay. in there. So All right. the, let's get, let's um, get back to that asterisk because people yeah. are going to ask. Yes, sir. So in my studio, um, 14 terabyte of data is a whole lot. And these are, again, this isn't just the stuff that runs your studio, right? These are just the photographs. So um, what we've discovered is that there, to set that up for the studio, we're doing something very similar to you. So on our Synology drives, we have the archived images, which are all the original raw right. images. Right. And then we have the finals, and those would go to Milio. Right. And then so um, currently, the way the setup is, uh, when you asked, RC, if I had it on my phone right here, what I've done is grab images that I use a lot for work, and that's on my phone and that's in this account. But all the images for um, the studio are gonna be accessed on our studio laptop. And then we can get into all those images on the back end when we travel via the Sonali drive like we just did. Um, but we have to have them as two separate accounts. In the future, by the end of the year, it'll all be on a household account. You know, the household technology right, right, will kick in, right. and then you'll be able to have permissions and, and all that sort of stuff. But for right now, it's just two separate accounts. But it'll get to the place, I think, within a few upgrades where you'll just toggle back and forth. And again, the idea of being able to access all the, we're accessing past imagery so frequently as a portrait studio. Right. I mean, I just had a request the other day for a, a shoot I did on a campaign trail in 2008 asked if she wow. could buy the photograph of her next to Senator Obama. No, but how does, you now, know, and so we, in my view, I could find it two seconds. Let's go back. To, so I want to talk about that because it was yeah. just like, we were looking at it and I'm like, all right, so you're using it from a corporate standpoint. Yeah. You're using it from a family like, thank standpoint. Thank you for calling us a corporation. Well, I mean, it's, it's a big thing. It's, yeah, a, it's we're from, a, business, from, a, yes. work sta from yes. a work standpoint. You're using it at work. You're yeah. using it personally. Exactly. Um, but it's solving problems for you, for you on both sides. Absolutely. Now, Different uh, problems. And that's what I wanted to get to yeah. because you shared a story earlier on the PTNT thing where right. you were talking about how you use it on the field or immediately. Yeah, yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us about that story because I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I, th that story, I could I have a million yeah. of them. Well, but, uh, well here's well, a yeah. great example. Here's a great example of how um, this and this would be for true for work as well. But um, we just had a surprise party for my dad, okay. which was awesome by the way because my dad, no one's ever thrown a party for him. Oh, it was so cool. We, it was a surprise party. Everyone came in from everywhere. We rented out a place in Columbus, Ohio. He, came, we were all like, go because it's seventieth birthday party, right? Everybody whisper happy birthday. Nobody give him a heart attack. So he comes in, happy birthday. And it was just, it was a really heartfelt, beautiful experience. But leading up to it, um, I said I wanted to put together an album for him. I wanted to put together um, an album and I want a slideshow to show during the party. Mm -hmm. We've got people from his life, some who he hadn't seen in 35 years, right. people coming in. And so I said, do me a favor, everybody um, send me photographs from, um, that you have of, of dad or okay. Andrew, or however you know him. So I got all these images. I got all these images, and this must feel familiar to other people. But the amount of images I got was this, and these were coming from slides, these were coming from um, scanned photos, these were coming from old photos that had been scanned by horrible scanners, you know, <laughs> right, you know sure. sent in. Um, and then digital images across phones, et cetera. The amount of images I got that actually related to my dad were very few. <laughs> Like, literally, my brother sent me a picture of two dogs. I'm like, why are you sending me this picture of two dogs? He's like, he likes dogs. I'm like, no. So like, no. But does he know these dogs? No, no, but he's a dog lover. Put that in there. So what I did is basically I took all these images and I just dumped them into my Leo in a folder called Dad Photos. And then with all these photographs, I would go in and pull the ones that I felt were relevant, right? My dad's going to kill me if he sees me doing this on the show. Um, but I would, I would pull in all the images that I felt were relevant to this slideshow. And um, by the way, take a look at this. Tell me he's not a ridiculously good-looking man. That's your dad? That's my dad. I mean, not today, but that's my dad. Um, I found that image. I was going through it. I'm like, oh, my goodness. That's a great photo. What a handsome man. Right. So all these photographs, when he was in Vietnam, he sent these pictures back to my mom. My mom had a collection of them. You know, she sent them all in. We scanned them and put them in. So we put all these images in together. And what I do is I take these images and I pull them down into Lightbox, you know? 
great picture of my dad as a kid. I pulled him to the light box. Then I create an album of all the ones that are relevant. Because again, I got a bunch of stuff that wasn't relevant. And that's kind of what photography is, is pulling it down to the best stuff and really showcasing that. So I go into albums and I create a folder called Dad's 70th. And I bring them into it and I just put in here what's relevant to the slideshow. And then I can go in here and do any editing that I might want to do or clean it up or crop it or however. But suddenly I now have an album, this, this task that would have taken me 8 million years and all kinds of frustration and, and, and the feeling that I would normally would have, which is like, this is my job in real life. I can't do this now at home. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's my job. I leave that at home. Yeah. So basically what I just did is I waited for all the stack up. I threw it all in at one time. I selected what I really cared about. I had this album that I could export as a slideshow, uh, export it right to Animoto, or I can export to create a, a physical album, the whole album, and that's it. So a project that would normally be a very long project took me three hours total. Wow, that's pretty and that's good. with t tweaking and updating and editing right. some of the older <coughs> images. Some of the bad scan images. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jordan Ayen uh, mentioned something here that Lightroom interfaces with Milo. It actually watches your Lightroom mm -hmm. files to stay synced. So for Which Lightroom is super users, cool. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you can take an image and then um, just say, I want to edit this. Um, you can go out into your album and then say you want to edit it with uh, Lightroom and then select an image, any image, it doesn't matter and um, say, edit this with Lightroom, and it'll pop open Lightroom for you and then give you the whole catalog there. I just downloaded Lightroom, so this is gonna take a second. <laughs> I just downloaded like, it here as a, on How long the ago, show. RC, did I d download? Not very long ago, but I mean, yeah. and, that, and so it does have a little bit of an integration with Lightroom, and, and like there was a question that says, well, doesn't Lightroom Mobile sync your phone pictures to your shared Lightroom collection? Well, it does, but if you're not using Lightroom Mobile, then, this is another option that's there for you. I think I think that that's that's uh, it's a valid thing to yes. be able to work with. Yes, exactly. So, um, so it's not like you give away all these things in Photoshop and Lightroom. You still use it. This plays with all those apps. Right. All right. So is this Der Drash? Der Drash? Der Draka. Der Draka? Der Draka. Well, oh, you're good at this. German. That feels Der Draka. Der Draka. Der Draka asks, it's is sync Kimball. over LTE an option if you like? LTE. So in other words, to, to sync instead of over a wireless network. I think you have to do it over a wireless network. I don't, to LTE. Like the, I can't swear to that. Hold on. I'll check it now. Is sync over LTE an option? Well, in, isn't there like a setting? Isn't there like a preference that says use? I believe there's a preference that says use uh, cellular, but you have to turn it on. I think oh, by default. Oh, yeah, yeah. On, oh, by default, oh, I now know it's wireless. I, th I was thinking it was an acronym for some like crazy oh, term. Oh, uh, li right. liquid titanium extract. <laughs> exactly. So that's on your phone, you can say it'll extract. give you a warning saying you can use cellular here if you're not right, a wireless environment. You have to turn it on, but default, it may incur default, charges. Right. Default is wireless. Yeah. And there is a preference to switch it over. Exactly. All right. You can also set up a Mylio wireless between just your devices. All right. And so. Um, obviously one more. Oh, hey, we're, we're, we're actually completely out of time. We're like over time, but so we're, we're, we're not done. We're just going to wrap up here in a minute. Um, we usually have some giveaways. And so today's that day. What are we giving away? Let's talk about it. We're going to give away a copy of the HDR book <laughs> and not this original version, but the brand new one. Why do we have the old? This is the old one. That is the old version. This oh. is the old version. RC has updated it and it is a spectacular new version with his latest techniques. So we're gonna give away a copy of one of those so when it arrives and it looks different. Can we, can we? Sure, yeah, can we can give can away. We? Oh, pow! We're gonna give away a copy of this. The Lightroom CC book, guys, this is, I can pretty much guarantee you that it's nowhere. We have some stuff, but if you're up to speed and you wanna get up to speed on how to be able to use Lightroom CC, one of you guys is going to win this book. It's going to be very hot off the press. Now, wow. we're going to give away nice. something else when we come back, but we can't tell you what it is because it's super secret because we haven't talked about it yet. Whoa. <laughs> but we're going to talk about it when we get back from the break. So we're going to take a break, and then we're gonna, and then it will also tell you where to go enter the contest. Nice. So Oh, here, I have this one thing right here. So do we have this? Uh, let me see. Can you guys get to my thing? Let me see if I can get to it. RC's my... going to put his phone All right. on, on RC's this. As we were talking about syncing and abilities, I think I'm on three. I don't know if you guys can see three. He's on control room three. Uh, There's so many control rooms in here. I know, it's crazy. Okay, I'll bump. I'm gonna bump, bump me off of two. Uh, I'm gonna bump, bump me off of two. two. So you if we go me. on two, there we go. We'll go off of that. 
So inside of here, if we wanted to be able to sync, there, this is the option where you would sync through uh, Mylio sync Cloud Drive. Using there it is. Using right. Cellular, yeah. So here's your here's your Cellular, then you would sync over Cellular in this one section. I think you would probably have to go inside of that on the app settings or on the phone settings to be able to see if it lets you sync over LTE as well. Uh, cellular that. syncing, we use your data plan and charges may incur. May incur. There we go. That means if you have a unlimited plan, it may not. They will not incur. Who has an unlimited plan anymore? Do you have I, an unlimited plan? I have an unlimited plan. It's wow. super cheap now. Really? Yeah. All right. We're going <laughs> to... Didn't think you'd get cell phone advice today, did you? So. We're going to take a short break, right, RC? Yes, we are. And when we come back, what happens? We're going to be talking about the contest uh, and other giveaways that we have yet to talk about. And some stuff we haven't talked about. Stick around. We'll be right back. It's stuff. It's a lot of stuff. It's coming back. It's coming back to you. Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here. I'm very excited to announce Lightroom CC for digital photographers, also for Lightroom 6 users. Lightroom's evolved the way I use Lightroom has evolved and I want to pass that on to you guys. Any Lightroom book's gonna have all the new features. So I've done a lot of work on reworking, rethinking, trying to make it the very best book it can be. Of course, there's lots of free presets you get with the book. You get my workflow from start to finish. Got a whole brand new chapter on Lightroom for your mobile devices. Packed it full of so much stuff, I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Find it wherever really cool Lightroom books are sold. Hey, we're back. Scott Kelby here, RC Cepcio, and our special guest, Tamara Lackey in the studio. I feel special. All right, RC, <laughs> we're... <laughs> okay, just our guest. You don't have to feel special. Mm. We have Brad Moore over on the set. Not feeling that great today. I know we're trying to trying to trying to keep him up. Trying to keep him up. There he is. Have a drink. I was making faces before. Do what we do. Was the camera not on me? Yeah, no, the camera's on you now. Vodka helps. Vodka does help. <laughs> All right, helps Brad through every day. All right, so how do we get uh, so the contest time, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to kelby.com, kelby1.com slash contest. Under there, you're going to go to the contest web entry form. Make sure that you select the grid, put in your name, put in your email address, put in your website. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Tell us something. Tell us what you want to win. All right, yeah, do you want to win the book? Do you want to win the Lightroom CC book? All right, I'm going to give away something, too. I'm going to throw a new thing in there. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. I am bringing my Shoot Like a Pro Reloaded tour, so my brand new tour that I just launched last week. I'm bringing it to Swinging London, London, England. England. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot so, of syllable. So, uh, that was mm. from uh, Austin Powers. Anyway. From July 14th? July 14th. I'm going to be in London. Would love for you guys to come out. Had such a great time in London. Such a wonderful crowd to present to. So we're going to give away a single ticket to my London Nice. Cool. Seminar, so that's over so, here. If you want to go, if you want to see all of the different seminars, make sure that you go to kelby1.com slash live. Yeah, we're going all the way. All That'll get you into all of these things. things pack out, don't they? They do. City, San Francisco. I had an awesome crowd in London. Really, There's your really London great. They're, cool. they're really great people. So I uh, hope to see you guys over there in London. Feel the love. London. London. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we've, we've talked about that. Tamara, may I call you Tamara? You may. Tamara, so I heard that you, now I haven't heard a lot about this, so I'm hearing it for the first time, but I heard that you started a nonprofit. So you literally just heard. I literally just heard, I mean like today. I heard that you, and, and nobody will tell me about it, so I'm hoping you will. I will, I'll tell okay. you about it. All yeah, right. started, we started right. a, a nonprofit called Beautiful Together. Um, I can put up the screen. Um, it's uh, completely in support of children waiting for families. And the concept is, uh, this was started by myself and my beautiful husband. Um, it's probably not relevant here, but he is very good looking. <laughs> just thought I'd mention I've that. met him. He is quite good. He is very nice guy. Very, very he's nice. He's also wonderful. Yeah, he's, he's a very nice guy. Um, but we started this because uh, these are our children at the top here, our daughter Sophie, and, um, and then we adopted Caleb from Ethiopia at nine months, and then our youngest, Annalisa, at three and a half years oh, old awesome. from Ecuador. And so we've been very involved in adoption um, and, very, and, and professionally in foster care, working with the Heart Gallery and great organizations that help to promote um, the idea of uh, allowing more people to connect with children who are waiting for families. And so Beautiful Together was kind of born of the idea that we could support children who are waiting for families and then shine a light at them, profile them, do video profiles. And when you see a child in the Heart Gallery, are you guys familiar with the Heart Gallery? It's a, yeah, it's a really great program that's been going on for a while. We've been shooting with them for years. 
but basically it's photographs of children um, in foster care who are legally available for adoption. And um, and it's an exhibit that travels from place to place. Like it'll be in a mall for you know, oh, a certain okay. amount of time, et cetera. And what it is, is a great photograph of this child with a little placard that says a little bit more information about them. We're partnering with the Heart Gallery to have the multimedia component. That's what Beautiful Together is. So you can see a child, maybe feel a connection, and then, and then watch a, a program about them, a little two, three minute film. Mm. Um, that's one of the big things uh, that Beautiful Together is focused on. And um, in addition, we want to do like tangible, measurable projects. Like say, for instance, a, a group home has a bathroom that needs restored and renovated. Just again, improving the lives of the children who wait. We would crowdsource a whole funding effort, take on the project and see it from start to finish. So that's a lot awesome. of what Beautiful Together is. Yeah, it is awesome. It's very cool. But you, now you're selling an album to support this cause? So we have um, Lush albums. This this is we've this has been in development. Oh my gosh, have, these are high quality books. Ugh, they're lush. These books have been in um, progress for uh, the last 17 months. But um, the idea behind Lush albums. Oh look, I have a close up. Um, is it's multiple fabrics and stuff, but it's a high quality fine art photo book that you can um, design and, um, and lay out literally within minutes. We are, um, it's crafted by Fineo right here in the United States, um, Lush Albums. You can go to lushalbums.com. Um, and this, uh, one of the great things behind Lush Albums is it's gonna constantly support Beautiful Together. And hey, look, there's you right there. Look, there's me. Um, and you can see all the, uh, if you go to lushalbums.com, you can see all the fabrics and the layouts and it's just built around smart, fast ordering. And when I talk about MyLeo, how you can create an album and then export it, you can export it right in here and then suddenly have a book laid out. It's, it, it, if you go on Lush Albums and you look at the tutorial, it's ridiculous how fast it works with Fundy Direct software. Um, and then have it at your home in um, you know, a week and a half or so. So it's great personally, but certainly uh, to offer clients. This, these are actually, you guys know Kelly Brown, right? Newborn photographer? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is actually one of hers. We had a bunch of people oh, custom design beautiful. on. It's just a beautiful book, a beautiful yeah, layout. This is the Zen Silk line. These are all eco-friendly, they're animal friendly, no worms. They're animal were, friendly. We're hurt in the process of this silk album. Um, and they're like, you know, cool fabrics. I don't know what to say to that. Feel this, feel how nice that feels. Man, that's some. Right? Wow, you just want to cuddle up with this don't book. Don't you? That's the velvety suede, wanna... and this is the soft linen. Velvety but suede. Yeah, so it's Larry idea Becker a, would love this. A beautiful high quality. Those suede. are my travel photos. Are they very nice? Thank you very much. Um, so that's that. the idea of, that's London. This is, that's uh, where you're going to be. This that is. Whole, that whole layout is uh, London. This is, uh, begins with a C. Covington Garden. Covent, Covent Garden. Covent Garden. Yes, Covent you, Garden. you said it better. So you know what they sell right down here, right down there? Food. Is, no, it's a particular food. Do you see that? You can't see on, uh, on the screen, but there is a giant bowl there. They are selling, um, oh, what is that? It's, it's a bunch of foods all together, seafoods. What Dumbo? is it? Dumbo? What is it? Gumbo? No, no. They, it's a big skillet full of seafood. Compost? <laughs> yes, it's compost. They're composting. That's exactly what they're doing. No, I, I can't think of the word. It just escapes me. But think of a big seafood. It's Paella. It's, paella. Paella. Thank you. That Our is, sea with the wind. So when you walk into this scene, you can smell the paella and you see the steam coming up mm. and everybody lines up to get it. I don't eat seafood, so I just look and go, that looks gross. <laughs> but everybody, it's like, too. it's super hugely popular right there in Covent Garden. Right? Yep. Right? Yep. Right there. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is cool. Yeah. This, I tell you, the, the book, it's very nice. I mean, this Thank is very you. nice. Of course, the printing is beautiful. The photos are beautiful. There's your clay printing. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, and this is all um, protected, but without being laminate -y. Really? Now, did any worms die to make this? No worms Are were killed sure? in the making I, this album. This feels a little worm death. No, it's even there. plant. No. It's actually a cellulose, plant cellulose glue. It's not even like, you know, horse glue. It's top to bottom. This, eco, I, I gotta eco, tell you, eco. I gotta be honest with you. I feel a little worm and, and horse death here. Do you? Maybe on page nine. <laughs> no. Some of them slip through on page nine. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. That's a thing. Uh, I couldn't help myself. This is what happens when we run over. Like it's five, it gets loopy. five, eleven, and we're we're way over time and stuff like that. Now, if people wanted to see more on it, like what do we do? Like so, we talked about Milo. We talked about Milo. Go to Milo. Milo.com. Milo.com. But specifically, um, you want people to go to Milo. I think get that great code. Dot com slash yeah, Milo.com Kelby one. Kelby one. So yes. you know, if you want to be able to try it, and I think uh, the I mean, other that's thing. that's a huge, I've not seen that offer yet. Neither something else you talked about the on the spot. Yeah, me too. What do we do? Like you had said, you could stay with the organization part. part oh, right, right. So the thing that's very cool, and this is what, when I got started on MyLeo, I wasn't sure. I was like, it looks super cool. 
and it wasn't until I got into it where I was like, okay, I'm a believer. I'm keeping this. But if you get into it and you try it out and you just aren't sure, it already leaves everything organized for you. So it's auto-organized. Right. It's all set up. The file structure, everything is, is set in there. And if you say, you know what, I don't want to continue to pay for it, all that does is shut off the sync. You still actually keep Right, the format yeah. and the viewing and the. I know. So I think that, that was a cool you. thing. I remember That's, from the from the very beginning. It's actually very generous. Yeah, it is. I wonder if they should keep that as a business model, but they are right now. <laughs> I wonder if they should keep. They it are well. doing that hmm. right now. It doesn't just seem like it should just all of a sudden just be gone, but it doesn't. Right. Right. All right. Well, guys, thanks very much. Tamara, thank you for being on the show. Yeah, Tell us about your nonprofit, of course, about the Malio stuff, because there's so many questions about Malio. A lot of people ask us about it. They know that we're psyched about it, and they know that we use the technology. And so, and, and when, I, when I really, what really lit me on fire was, was when, I, when I made the jump and moved everything onto my phone. So on my phone, on my tablet, everywhere, I've got my entire collection. I used to have my entire collection in just one place, just on my laptop. Yeah, That me too. was it. Me too. And so, and then I had a backup, like, in the cloud, but I didn't really have access to it I wouldn't you know like you know how many times I'd be like dinner with somebody and go oh, yeah I don't, I, I don't it's have it's a great the, story I wish yeah, I could actually I wish show, I you that. show you the picture I don't have it with <laughs> yeah. me now but yeah. you know what it's nice to be able to go oh yeah I have it It's you know it's always there yeah it's crazy I'm still kind of blown away about how little space it takes but that's a whole different a whole different uh, thing anyway uh, thanks hope you guys enter the contest uh, and want to invite you. So this is Wednesday on Friday. RC and I have a show we do every Friday. We do a thing called the Lightroom, Lightroom show. show. Now it's not long like this. It is about 12 minutes. And so we have no time for chit chat. Apparently here we've got plenty of Endless. time. This is a talk show. When I, RC and I do the Lightroom show, is it a it's, talk show? It's business. We, we pack it as much as we can. We put as much tips in as we can. That's not said right, but you know what I mean? So uh, we put as much as we can. Pack it with as many tips as in, we can. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for that writing that copy. And uh, it's, it, it goes by really fast. So anyway, we hope you'll check it out. Go to lightroomkillertips.com. That's our daily blog. And you can find it there. We post it every Friday. Whether it's good or not, we still post it. Now, it's a terrible I, show. We post it. If it's a good one, we post it. Can I just uh, can I bring this up one last time for Please individuals do. that are watching? Make sure that you go to take a look at kel.by slash lrcc resource. So kel.by forward slash Lightroom CC resource. If you go to that one section and you missed any of the stuff that we did for the webcast, we have an entire page, 21 free videos on top of this, and we have a link to all to 15 Jesus. classes that we That's did on Cubby lot. One. Yeah, we did 15 that. full-length classes. Also, all four of our uh, webcasts are there from yesterday. Yep. Now, the webcasts, I just want to tell you before you start watching them, they are essentially the same. We did the same basic demos, all four. The question and answer is different every time. Right. And of course, the RC and I just had Crazy things happen as the as the day went on and yeah, got loopier, it got and loopier, and yeah. By the end of the night, somebody said, "Wow, you guys got really loose." By the end of the night, we we're like punchy. So, so if you just want to go for the laughs, go watch the fourth one, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and then we, go from we, there. We, the we dug into some stuff, but, but there's anyway. just a, but uh, but I wanted to be able to point out because I mean, you're going to take a look at the BNH offer that's there. You're going to take a look at a book offer that we have there. But more uh, on top of all of that stuff, and we want you to look at this. We want you to tell people about it by clicking on the tweet. Uh, tweet. All of the stuff that's in Lightroom CC, if you need to see it on a on a thing uh, on an item by item basis, it's all right here. Yep. You want to know how to make panoramics? Here's a video dedicated to it. You want to know how to make HDR images? There it is. Activity Center, importing to election. Every single feature. That's really cool. Is yeah, right there. We broke it down. It's yeah. break down. Break down. Break so, down. Break down. Something for you guys to take break a look down, at. There's down. all of our classes as well. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much, RC. Thanks yes, to everybody. Tamara, where can people go to learn more just about you as a photographer? TamaraLackey.com. There you go. Perfect. And uh, that's the, the L is silent. <laughs> it's Most not. people don't know that. I know. It's weird. No, it's not. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for being on the show. Loved it. Great to have you here. RC, as always. Thank you very much. Let's quick flip over to Mr. Brad Moore. Any, any words of uh, wisdom for tomorrow? we got a big day tomorrow. Big. Are you, are you going to that city tonight? Are you going tonight? You're going to spend the night there? You're going to be there early, right? Um, don't look for me early. Are you taking lots of lenses? Lots of lights, scrims. Are you taking a smoke machine? No? Yes, okay, yeah, we're taking a smoke machine. We're very excited about the Did smoke machine. Did you pack machine. an extra smoke machine? Did you pack an extra backup smoke machine? Yeah. Did you take the juice that makes the smoke come out? I'm, I've got to pick some up at Guitar Center. You're gonna, you have to go to Guitar Center to get smoke? Mm -hmm. God, I should have been using that excuse a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I've got to go to Guitar Center. To get some to smoke. To get some smoke. Oh, the smoke machine. Smoke. It's, make sure you get water-based smoke, too. Yes. Because if you get the sticky stuff, then we all start gagging. Yes. 
And you already have enough uh, problems yes. right there. Anyway. Hey, Ariel. <laughs> I've been hanging around RC too much. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Whoa, and, whoa. Whoa. Everyone, step back. Thanks to our sponsors. Uh, and we'll catch you guys next Wednesday right here live on The Grid. Take, Take care, care, everybody. Take Bye. care. Everybody wave. Wave. Do the wave. Thank <laughs> you.